Welcome. In this lecture, we are going to derive the magnetic field due to wire of finite length, for which we will use the biot savart law, which says that magnetic field due to a small element is given by dB, right, is equal to mu naught i dL cross r or 4 pi r square, where i is the current in the wire, dL is the length of the uh, wire. This is the unit vector which points from dL to the point where we want to measure the magnetic field. This is the distance between those two points. And mu naught over 4 pi is the constant of proportionality. Right? So the rest of the things are directly proportional and this r is inversely proportional. Magnetic field is inversely proportional to r square. And then mu naught over 4 pi is the constant of proportionality. Mu naught is the permeability constant, permeability of free space. Mu naught over 4 pi comes to around 2, 10 to the power minus 7. So let's see how we can find the magnetic total magnetic field due to a wire of finite length. So I'm going to take a wire of this length A and then I'm going to stop here B and this is the length. And I'm, I'm going to find from this expression. To find the uh, total magnetic field I'm going to integrate both sides. So integral of dB is just B, right? And then mu naught over 4 pi is a constant so they can come out of the integral and then I am left with integral of I dl cross R over R square. Now what? let's see what is dl cross R. dl cross R is dl times R times sine of alpha, right? where alpha is the angle, this angle, between the conductor and the vector R. right? So that's how we find the uh, vector product. But we want to find in terms of theta. theta right? So what we can do is that we can write sine of alpha is equal to opposite side opposite side is a over hypotenuse which is r right so this is vector r and then what is a over r it's also cos of theta right so since theta has adjacent side this cos theta is adjacent side over hypotenuse so it's a over r so instead of sine of alpha i can write cos of theta but what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to take small dl's all along the wire. I'm trying to integrate all the values. But this is alpha at this point. But what is alpha at this point, right? Alpha will change, right? So this would be alpha at this point. So I'm going to integrate all these alphas. But alpha is, right, and the al theta is also changing. So I'm going to integrate the theta from here to here. So but alpha il is less than 90 degrees and then it, it will increase. So let's say at this point alpha will be this angle, right? It's the angle between the conductor and the vector r. So how do I, f how do I now find uh, sine of alpha? In this case sine of alpha I'm going to use basic trigonometric equation which is sine of alpha is sine of pi minus alpha, right? This is a basic trigonometric equation. Um, a generally well-known trigonometric equation. So what is pi minus alpha? This is pi minus alpha, this angle. Since the line is pi, so pi minus alpha is this. And then I'm going to say sine of alpha is same as sine of pi minus alpha. Sine of pi minus alpha is also opposite side, which is A over uh, hypotenuse, which is R. So I have A over R. Again, it's cos of theta, right? So I have two cases. I'm going to take the angle on this side, left side, as negative theta 1. And then this side as negative positive theta too, right? So what is cause of negative theta? It's just cause of theta, right? So it doesn't matter where I take theta, cause of theta will always be positive. So I'm not going to worry about the sign. So sine of alpha, I'm going to replace this as cause of theta. And I get I dl cause of theta times kk is the unit vector. If you curl your fingers from L to R, your thumb will point in the direction of resultant vector, which is K. Its value is 1. And since the value of R is also 1, I'm not going to write it here. Okay, so I'm going to get rid of it. So I have IDL cos theta K over R squared. Now what I want to do is that I want to replace this R in terms of cos theta. So I'm going to write cos of theta is equal to A over R. I've already seen that. So R is equal to A over cos theta, right? So r is also a sec theta and then I will square it and replace it here. Now also let's see what is tan of theta. Since I want to get rid of dl, I'm going to find tan of theta as l over a which gives me l is equal to a tan theta and then I'm going to differentiate l with respect to theta. I'll get dl over d theta 
and then I'll get a secant square theta since differential of tan theta is secant square theta and then a what is a a is the perpendicular distance from this point to the conductor I'm gonna keep a because it makes calculations easier and a is always the perpendicular distance right so a is a constant so I'm not gonna differentiate a constant so what I get is a secant square theta so dl over d theta is a secant square theta and then d theta I can put it across and I'll get dl is equal to a secant square theta d theta right so I'm gonna now replace start replacing dl and r and what I get is i cos theta from this expression cos theta remains there and then I have dl as a secant square theta d theta I just have found that out times k the unit vector over r squared can now be written from here as r squared is now a square secant square theta so secant square theta and secant square theta will give me a ratio of 1 a and this I'm gonna remove right and then I'm left with I can also go out since we're going to assume that current remains constant in the wire so I what I get is mu naught I over 4 pi integral of cos theta d theta right, and the unit vector k and I'm going to integrate it from this negative theta 1 to this positive theta 2 because that is the angle covered from this point to the start of the wire to the end of the wire right so I'm going to integrate it from negative theta 1 to positive theta 2 so what is integral of cos theta so integral of cos theta is sine theta so I'm gonna get u naught i over 4 pi sine theta and then I'll have to substitute theta 2 and negative theta 1 so now I get mu naught i over 4 pi sine of theta 2 minus sine of negative theta 1 right and what is sine of negative theta it is minus sine theta right so sine of negative theta is minus sine theta right so I'm gonna write this as mu naught i over 4 pi this is in a bracket times sine of theta 2 plus sine of theta 1 or you can write mu naught i over 4 pi multiplied by sine of theta 1 plus sine of theta 2 and that is your expression for finding magnetic field at a point p um, uh, at a distance of perpendicular distance of a I forgot this a this will be 4 pi a this will be 4 pi a so if this is the perpendicular distance from a point to a wire this will be your expression hope you like this derivation